learn, pray, give, go. The Joshua Fund, educating to bless Israel and her neighbors in the name of Jesus. In this video, Joshua Fund founder and chairman, Joel C. Rosenberg, interviews Pastor Chuck Smith, who shares his experience and insight to the scriptures that enlighten us to the miracle of Israel and God's future plans for all nations. This video is an abbreviated version of the interview. You were born on June 25th? June 25th, 27. 1927, you got that one. <laughs> so you had a few years there. You had about 21 years before Israel was prophetically reborn. What were correct. you taught? What, what, what did your parents think? What did your pastor think? What were your views and, and the views of those around you about Israel uh, pre-48? Well, I grew up in a church that did believe that God had a purpose for the nation of Israel, and they did teach that... Uh, you know, God was yet going to work through the nation of Israel and bring them back into the land. And so it was, of course, just to us an exciting fulfillment of Bible prophecy uh, that we had already believed in. But now seeing it happen right before our eyes was surely an exciting experience. I'll say, do you remember uh, the events around May 14th, 48. Do you have personal re recollections of sort of that, that moment as Israel was literally being declared a state? Oh, yes. In fact, I heard the uh, broadcast of Ben-Gurion on the radio, though I couldn't understand the Hebrew. But when he declared, you know, that Israel was now again among the nations of the world, you know, and it was uh, just an exciting experience because to me, it was just the fulfillment of prophecy. Do you recall when, what year you first personally visited Israel um, and what that experience was like for you? It was in the 70s, early 70s, that we made our first trip to Israel. And uh, it was sort of like... I know you were there in 73. Yes. But you've told me something. It would be a good yes. story. We can tell that as well. But, uh, so. Well, the scripture says, when the Lord returned again the captivity of Zion, we were like those that dreamed. And it was like a dream. I mean, uh, the first time I went to Israel, uh, there was, uh, we were just so filled with wonder and awe uh, that uh, I really didn't see much of the land. I was just walking around in a dream state. It was actually two or three visits later that you really begin to drink in and, and realize what you're seeing. I've been there over 40 times now, and it's always just a beautiful, exciting experience for me to be there in the land, never tired of it. You've been one of the um, most influential pastors in the United States by God's grace. I don't think you would have said, you know, 40, 50 years ago that that was going to be the case. What's your, what's your sense of where we are in America right now? How much, how much trouble are we in? I think the United States is in very big trouble. Do you think there's a hope for a, a, a third great awakening, a revival in the United States? I wish I could say yes. But I think of the words of Jesus who said, when I return, will I find faith on the earth? And, and though I pray and hope that there could be a great awakening. And, and I think there, there could be, uh, you know, before he uh, takes his church out, knowing that, you know, we're so close. And that's what my prayer is. Mm -hmm. But yet I really sort of question because of the one scripture that Jesus said, will there be faith when I return? Mm -hmm. Pastor Chuck, thank you so much for your time, for your wisdom. And I just pray that the Lord uses this interview to help encourage yes. a lot of people in the years ahead. It's our prayer. Equip them. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is great. We hope this interview with Pastor Chuck Smith and the Joshua Fund founder and chairman, Joel C. Rosenberg, has been a blessing to you. 
subscribe to our videos by clicking the subscribe button. You'll find some videos that we've chosen specifically for you. And if this is a ministry that you'd like to support financially, just make a tax deductible donation by clicking here to visit our giving page. Thank you. We look forward to partnering with you to bless Israel and her neighbors in the name of Jesus.